Yeah, Travers. So in some cases, experts say the heat island effect can make it feel up to seven degrees warmer in certain areas. But the city says there are some ways we can fight back. Many neighborhoods in New Orleans are known for big, beautiful trees. We have no trees around the area. But as many of you know, not all areas are as lucky. This street is going to be completely transformed thanks to these trees. Susanna Burley is the founder of Sustaining Our Urban Landscape, or SOUL. The group has planted 5,000 trees over five years in an effort to reforest the city. We want to improve quality of life through the visuals of trees, but also through the power of shade, which lowers air temperatures, and also through their stormwater absorption power. Burley says this tree on the neutral ground can absorb 1,000 gallons of stormwater in a single day. These newly planted trees along South Galvez can absorb about 200. It's just a New Orleans thing. Summertime, it's going to get hot. Then there's the relationship between shade and the heat island effect. This is because roads and rooftops, they absorb heat during the day, and then they emit that heat out into the atmosphere. The solution? Burley says remove some of the pavement and replenish a tree canopy that lost at least 100,000 trees to Katrina. We need to plant lots and lots of trees. We need to unpave areas. We need to, um, you know, green the city, really, if we're going to cool down in a, in a real way. They're going to be beautiful because they got them lined all the way down. You know, just lovely. And so the city has set a goal that they would like to see a tree canopy of 50% by the time we hit 2030. That group soul has actually analyzed the city recently and say right now that number stands at 20%. Reporting live along South Galvez and Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.